Hey, hey, thanks for watching DD Croy with my favorite groomer on YouTube. So I had a client, uh, she's ordered a lot of stuff. She emails me just about every day. Her name's Michelle, and I am pretty sure the this gift is from her. So she said, Dee Dee, have you heard about Vets Best? It's more of an organic or all natural kind of uh, fleece shampoo or fleece spray, I guess. And I said, I've actually heard of a lot of organics. I've actually carried some organic stuff. Let me just give you a idea. I had a dog come in several times. Different dogs have come in with thousands of fleas. And for instance, I got this is specific for one client. Kills fleas on contact. Natural chemistry. Okay. I still have three bottles. And I've had them for quite a, quite a minute. <laughs> quite a minute. Adam Sweet Shampoo. I have one bottle at this size. This sucker is not cheap. And then I have a flea spray. Adams. And even for me, who's somebody who I'm not I'm not your big supply store, but I'm getting there. Over a hundred dollars gallon of Adam's flea shampoo. Okay? So and I can smell it through the bottle. Now I just gotta say, the organic stuff that it did not work. So when she wrote me and said, Hey Didi, you know, have you heard of this stuff? Have you tried it? And I said, if you can write the company, I don't have time to write the company. If you want to write them and say, Hey, send Didi some free stuff. See if, uh, uh, let her demo it. No, she, she bought me some. Okay. Because when I am over the phone, I let them know before they come in clients. If the dog comes in with fleas, there's extra charges because that Adam's flea shampoo costs over a hundred bucks. The flea sprays, you know, between 15 and 20, depending on where you go. Adam's flea shampoo, depending on where you go, it's average 16 to 20 bucks a bottle for a 16 ounce. So let's just say we do a Husky. You're going to use like three 16 ounce bottles because on the flea shampoo, you need to lather in and then wait with the dog for 10 minutes. That's what I do. I've done a lather. I've done a real fast wash with Adam's flea shampoo. It doesn't hit the iceberg. And just keep in mind, this, it, everything we have is not 100%. Nothing's 100%. So I want to use what I know will work in that time because I have a dog that has a thousand fleas on it jumping around. No joke. You need to react because the next client comes in in an hour. I'm not going to take a client that could get fleas. I'm just not. My store is designed a little bit differently. So when I have, I have shut down my store. I've literally st walked out there and said, I need you to step outside. The next client walked in. I had one lady walk in right when I had, I don't know, that small dog was, uh, I'm all about proof, right? Because and I, and I learned that because clients would be like, are you, are you sure that was my dog? And I'm like, yeah, it was your dog. Um, let me just get it here. This is, is taped up really good. I don't know if you can see here. Do you see all the dots? Well, those are just the fleas I grabbed off of this dog. Because mind you, I'm not in the business of picking fleas off. It takes too much time. But I went ahead and grabbed off a bunch of fleas on this dog. On April 23rd, 2017, a 12-pound dog. I want to say by the time we got done with the grooming, uh, it was a, about 400 fleas on that dog. The mom knew. I knew that lady. I knew her. And I was, I was like, hey, girl. You should have told me we had fleas because I would have told you to do a Capstar pill. Come, swing by, get a Capstar pill, go home, apply, give it to the dog, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let the Capstar pill do a 24-hour thing. Kill all the fleas on the dog. Instead, it came in. It had fleas. I was shaving it. I had to shave it down. It was nasty. They were jumping. You know, like they're going to jump everywhere. You contain it. You can do the best you can. I shut down my salon that day. A lady walked in while I was... Uh, had already checked out that client. They left. A lady walked in. I said, oh, turn right back around. I'll, I'll, let's go outside and talk. I said, I can't groom your dog today. Um, I, I don't want to chance it. I really do a thorough job on trying to con contain the flea environment. But I take it very seriously. And all salons can't do that. Mind you, if you're doing 30, 40 dogs a day, if you have a dog that comes in with fleas and sitting in a cage for four or five hours, Fleas are going to, I think fleas are going to jump off. They, there's no proof, but come on. Um, there's a bunch of dogs, there's a bunch of fleas, and they have all kinds of places to go. So here, I'm willing to do that. And I can't, and that's a lot of money lost.
that's my income, that's my livelihood, it's my business, but it's also just what I believe in doing. So I wish there was a better way to do it. There's just not. Um, even over the phone, you can't guarantee that every you can't guarantee anything. So if someone says, "Oh, there's no fleas on my dog," I've heard that a lot, and I just go, "Okay." And then when they come in, if there's fleas, I sh I have proof, and I sit try to save proof if I can get to it. Every once in a while, there's a flea I don't get. It goes down the drain, and I, I don't have any other proof except for maybe camera, maybe a picture. But I'm not gonna hold on to fleas in a napkin for hours and days. I'm gonna put it in a. <laughs> This thing is taped up, okay? These, these fleas had, a flea will live in a Ziploc. I've done my own little studies. You guys know me, okay? A flea, I was just telling David that today too. Uh, put a flea in a Ziploc bag and three days later, it was still alive. It had no food. The fourth day it died, but the three days later, it was. I was like, wow, these guys will last for a minute without any food, so. Or air, like real air. So anyways, Michelle, thank you so much for sending me this flea stuff. You are amazing. Uh, you're gonna let me try it. And I'm gonna come back and do a video too later. I'm gonna put this out there. She sent me Vets Best. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not even gonna sell this product unless I know it works. And I'm not gonna know it works until the next time a flea dog comes in. I really make sure that I, you know, we're, we use, I'm literally, I'm really good at this. So if I see fleas, we are gonna react and I'm gonna see what happens to the fleas um, when, we, when we mess with, it with this stuff. So she sent me flea and tick wipes. Okay. She sent me flea and tick home spray. Kills fleas, flea eggs, and ticks. Repels mosquitoes for dogs at home. And she sent me flea and tick yard and kennel spray. So um, I'm going to read some more. I'm going to see which one I can actually spray on the dog and just keep watching. I know some of you are interested in the flea situation. So I've read some of your posts. I'm going to let you know if this stuff works. Me, you can go to my website, myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. I only use Adam's Flea Shampoo. I only use Adam's Flea Spray for the dog application side of things. I do use my own sprayer. I sell sprayers and I will sell this other product. If you're interested, contact me. This is my sprayer right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two minutes. Can I call back? This is my sprayer right here. It's an old sprayer, but I have my fluid in there that I purchased in bulk. Um, and we, uh, one of the things that we do is I do Adam's flea spray right around the dog on the table. I try not to keep messing with the dog. If I see a flea, I stop and I just do the spray because once you start getting that flea moving, it wants to jump. It wants to remove itself. So stop what you're doing. Do the spraying because once it jumps, you want it to grab it want you want it to jump right into some kind of spray or fluid that's gonna kill it or get kill it in 24 hours okay then immediately me or David is walking around using our sprayer and spraying all the boundaries of the salon that day and I do that process every groom that has fleas even if there's two or three in one day um, that stuff I do inside the house outside the house borders outside borders of my fence outside in my home inside my home all along the borders and you can actually do pet your pet um, bedding area but you've got to let it dry before the pets can lay down on it that's what that's a different product you have to contact me separately for that one email me okay check below go to the website email me it says contact DD email me on the website okay so we're gonna try this stuff Michelle you're amazing and I love trying new things I, I don't sell anything I know don't work so if you want to watch and see what happens come back if you're really concerned about fleas, there's a bunch of processes to do all at once in your salon or in your home to kick fleas once you've gotten them. And then I challenge you to have flea charges and do extra things when fleas walk into your salon if you're a business owner. So go to myfavoritegroomer.com. On the right hand side, it says more, then air, like hover over the more and go down to newsletters. And you can read the flea newsletters I have and the flea recap newsletters. It tells you a lot to do when you're trying to combat fleas all at once. It's especially important where I learned was in my home when I pet sit. I pet sit in my home. The pets come in like a home pet. So I got three dogs with fleas and that, that changed everything for me. I spent a lot of money spraying my home, getting my home in order with fleas. I was so upset. It was very expensive. And then I learned how to train you all to handle fleas in your environment. 
So if you have any questions, contact me, reach out to me. Everything can be found on my website, again, for ordering if you need some of this stuff for your salon. Uh, but I will keep you posted on this Vets Best. And I don't get any credit from the Vets Best. This is a gift from a client of mine. And I appreciate you, Michelle. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for video two on the Vets Best flea product. All right, thanks a lot for watching. This is all about fleas. <laughs>